now let's uh, look into the way to combine a data from multiple tables so let's begin with uh, bringing up the data and converting them into the data frames and after that we will uh, do the required steps so let me get here so I have uh, two sheets I just want to merge those uh, uh, I want to add those two sheets here air quality set one consists of uh, 2000 records and air quality set two consists of uh, 1000 records so let me concatenate or let me do let me add uh, one on another so for that I'm gonna so this is uh, uh, so combine data from multiple tables so combine data from multiple tables okay so now let me bring the let me uh, bring the data into my excel and make it as data into my pandas and uh, uh, make it as a data frame so my first data frame i will name it as aql1 and pd as usual i will uh, take uh, read csv and location click on tab air quality set one and uh, parse dates so dates i'll go with the true value true value and let me execute it so let me cross check a here is the data so the shape is 2068 rows and just seven columns and here you can clearly see so i will modify a bit so aql1 and it's a aql1 and selection bracket and one more inside a list of the items it's a date date dot utc that you can see and one more thing a location and after that a parameter and one more the final one value so these are things i required i'm just filtering it out so now let me check here it is so these four parameters are more than enough for me with the default index you see that a date utc location parameter and value that's it so this much of a city country city country and other information is not required so my aql1 data frame is ready now let me work on the second uh, data frame so for the second data frame let me check uh, let me name it as aql2 and pd dot read csv as usual path of the file set to and it is a parse dates is true true and oh no 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 not time or terror it's a just a true true uh true yep and let me execute it and let me cross check the and here is that so it consists of the shape of the second aql2 data frame is uh, 1100 10 rows 1110 rows and seven columns clear so now i want only uh, these four param uh, this four uh column headers i don't want anything else i want just these four columns so what i will do is i will filter it out so i'll simply just copy this uh code so that it would be easy Okay. 
yeah and uh, i'll just change it to aql2 aql2 and execute it and here is that's it so 1000 110 but four columns so our both uh, data frames are ready get back let's get back to it so now how to combine a data from multiple tables so we have two tables we have two data frames so how to combine data from these two tables so the first option that we have here is a concat concatenation or concatenating objects so what is concatenating the object you have the first uh, data frame uh, with the three records and the second data frame with the two records and when you use a concat uh, when you use a concat uh, method to concat uh, to concatenate these two data frames you'll get a data frame with five records with five records so that's what uh, the concatenation i am talking about let's do a concatenation and we will see how it works in pandas so i want to combine the measurements of no2 and pm25 two tables with a similar structure similar stru similar structure in a single table that's it that's what i want it i want to do it so let me do it now so so this uh, i'm gonna name it as air quality cum air quality combined that would be better air quality combined that's the name so i will take pd and then i will use concatenate concatenate or concat method and what all data frames i want to concat uh, concatenate that list i have to provide so one is aql1 and second one is aql2 that's it so now let me make it access a default value it's a zero and rest all it's fine let me that's it and here is your a combined data frame this is what the combined data frame so 3178 rows you see here 1010 rows and 2068 rows 2068 rows and it's a 3178 absolutely you see that not even single row or record was missed you can see all rows together and obviously the four columns uh, will remain same this is how we concatenate a two or multiple uh, either you can go for the multiple data frames also so the concat method performs concatenation operations of multiple tables or uh, data frames along one of the axes uh, either row wise or column wise by default concatenation is along axis zero so the resulting table combines the rows of the input tables so let's check the uh, shape of the original and concatenated tables uh, to just verify the operation so let me print so what i want is uh, So shape of the 
so i just want to see the shape of the aql one so what i will do is aql one dot shape sorry this is just an attribute tuple object is not callable yeah okay it's 20684 and second one is aql2 and it's a shape okay okay and uh, air quality combined dot a shape and here is that 20684 and 11104 has been combined together and it made 31784 that's what the m by n a two dimensional a data frame a two dimensional data frame so hence the resulting table has 3178 rows addition of 2068 plus 3110 so the access argument will return in a number of pandas methods that can be applied along an access a data frame has two corresponding access the first running vertically downward across rows that's called access zero and the second running horizontally across columns it's called access one so most operations like concatenations or summary statistics are by default across rows so that's the reason access is zero so that's the reason across rows is default access is zero but can be applied across columns as well for that uh, you need to put access one so now we have concatenated this across rows and we can do the concatenation across columns also let's do that one example so for that so now how it works it consists of four rows and it consists of a four uh, sorry 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 it consists of four columns and this also consists of four columns when after the concatenation this column will be added to the fourth column of the table one so then we will get the eight columns and rows remain same let's uh, do one so um, uh, to concatenate uh, uh, vertically so what we can do is let me take the same one and oh sorry uh, mm, combined vertical and here is the concatenation so it's across it's it runs it runs horizontal and concatenation takes place across the columns you see that it runs horizontal and concatenation across the columns clear and uh, so we can sort the values so sorting the table on on the date time information illustrates also the combination of both tables with the parameter a column defining the origin of the table so we can do the sort values and we can sort it based on date.utc let's do that so that we can have a proper uh, data so which one we will do we will do it for the combined uh, this one i'm going to do it for this okay air quality combined so let me sort it uh, so aql sort and i will take air quality combined then i'll use sort values and based on what you want to sort it i will take date dot utc and okay i agree that's my mistake so then aql sort so here it is so index is completely a random but it's been sorted based on the date dot utc so five seven five seven five seven six twenty six twenty six twenty twenty one twenty one so it, it's been sorted uh, based on the 
this date UTC column label or date UTC series label. So in this specific example, uh, the parameter column provided uh, by the data ensures uh, uh, that each of the original tables can be identified. So this is not always the case. The concat uh, function, you see that the concat function provides a convenient solution with the keys argument adding an additional hierarchical row index. So let's take uh, uh, another example. So but this time it's uh, uh, concat using keys. Okay, so now um, air quality combined keys and pd dot concat. So again, I'll use the uh, AQL set one data frame and AQL set uh, AQL two data frame. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna add. Sorry, I have to add a square bracket for this one because it's a list of items. And after that, we'll have one more argument. That's a keys argument. Inside that keys argument, uh, I'm going to add two keys. And based on that, uh, I want uh, to concat. So based on what keys? Based on PM25 and NO2. PM25 and NO2. Let me take that. This is PM25 NO2 and air quality combined keys and here is that. So now all PM25 were added at one place and all NO2 were added at one place. So, so now let me give the head Okay, and here you see that you can see only PM25. And if I give tail, you should see only and vote. So that's how you can concatenate based on even keys. Okay, so the existence of multiple row or column indices at the same time has not been mentioned. Uh, in these examples, so a hierarchical indexing or multi indexing is pretty advanced and powerful uh, fan pandas feature to analyze higher dimensional uh, data. So as uh, if you are curious, you just uh, you can also explore uh, the documentation of pandas uh, for the same. So multi indexing is out of scope uh, in this uh, tutorial. So you can use. Uh, a pandas documentation for the further information okay